Hey guys, what's good? It's Collywood here and it's really busy at the railway station as you can see. People are just in these aisles trying to get the last few dollars before Chinese New Year. Normally there's not many vendors down here trying to make an extra buck. They're all upstairs but hey this is like the last official working day. Or today and tomorrow before everyone does a mass exodus and goes back to their hometowns. I'm making my way to show you guys what everyone keeps asking me for and that is watches. It's a well known fact that counterfeit products are all over China and I do not condone the purchasing, the production or sale of these items but they're everywhere, it's just the culture. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my channel is all about hype, fashion, sneakers, uh, but also my daily life here in Guangzhou. So I'm going to get upstairs, I'm going to walk around and I'm going to show you counterfeit, knockoff, fakes, whatever you want to call it, watches today. Let's, let's look if we can find a one-on-one -on -one quality, which usually you can't, but let's go see what we can find. So the area that I'm in is the same fashion area that I'm always in. Except today I'm going to two separate buildings that I normally don't step into. Uh, the buildings have all the hard, solid watches on the first floor. The real place to find the good, good qualities is if they take you to their showrooms on the second floor, third floor, so on. Um, there's also an area over here that has all the individual pieces and parts. So if you need to get something fixed or repaired, they can do that for you too. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk through the market, show you kind of how it looks. Whoa, it's busy here today. And then after, I'm gonna tilt the camera down and try to show you the displays, the magazines, to show you what brands they have, what's for sale. Hopefully a lot of the places aren't closed because of the closeness to Chinese New Year, but let's go have a look. I'm about to walk into the first building. It's right over there. Let's go. If there's any shakiness, I'm sorry. It's a GoPro body mount. That lady there just had a watch she purchased. Watch okay? There's me. As you can see some of them are covered up. So I just saw some Hublot, some uh, Panerai. You want high quality? I want high quality, yes, but. Okay. Sure. Okay. Let me, let me have a look at your magazines first. Okay. Uh, Rolex. What page? Rolex. Have. Yeah. yeah. Omega. You want Rolex? Yeah, I have. Uh, One forty. Oh, so, okay. You can go 
my sister so pretty. Have many many model here. This model or have? Yeah, do you have a card? A card. Uh, no one has no two. No, you not see. Uh, I'm not see. I need to make some phone calls also. Okay? okay, thank you. So, there is a quick, every shop has a card they can hand you. And uh, hopefully I got some footage of that. But yeah, they, almost every place will, will have some magazines, cards, business Hello, cards. Everything you need. Now, I'm not trying to show you guys the business cards because, again, I said I don't, I don't really condone this. But everyone knows that this happens here. So they'll all try to tell you the same thing, high quality, this or that. Now when it comes to quality of these watches, you never find the best quality down here. Like the lady was saying back there, her English was very broken. I think she was trying to take me to her showroom upstairs. Yeah. Women's watches. So yeah, they, they usually want to take you to the showroom in this building. Um, and that's where you'll see a lot of the other better stuff. Everyone always says high copy, high quality, but I'm really going to go to the other place now. This building I find is better because they offer to take you to the showroom right away. Um, but I don't want to go to the showroom in this video. There's a lot of other YouTubes that will do that just because once you get in there, there's so much pressure. Um, they might even try to start fights with you if you don't purchase anything. And I'm not about to get in a fight here today and I'm not gonna purchase a watch. I don't need one. So I'm gonna go in here and see what else I can find. Now this place they just tried to sell you right out of the cabinet. So let's walk through. Hello? Yeah. Which model? I, I'm just looking, looking. Which brand you want? Uh, I don't know. I have to buy for my uh, wife's uh, father for Chinese New Year. So, I'm just looking. Hello? Oh, so, yeah. You want the high quality? High quality offer, oh, mini mini. Let's see. Low like this. Yeah, Rolex. Rolex is nice. You yeah, want high, uh, high quality? High quality. High quality, I thought. Wait, how much? How much? High quality, just money. High quality, just money. <laughs> just money, I have to. Uh, high that quality, number one. I'm going to keep looking. I come here many times, many, many times. So, I keep looking. <laughs> give, give me a card, card. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And then you take me to showroom upstairs, maybe? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of people here today. Thousand RMB, that's still, that's 200 Canadian for a copy, uh-uh. <coughs> I've seen many other people the exact same market bargain for high quality for around 500 RMB or so, or I mean, everything here is a game. It's a big bargaining game. Watch my buddy calling a broadcast. Calling a broadcast does a lot of uh, bargaining videos. I'm sure everyone that's seen my channel has seen his, and uh, you'll see he has a video where he bargained for a Hublo and all of that. Now, high quality, they'll get you if you don't know your watches. I'm gonna explain a little bit at the end of the video, so just keep tuned and you'll see my opinion about when you get a watch.
Okay. I'm going to go try to get a whole magazine for you guys now. Sorry if you're seeing the floor at this moment. Submariner or what what page? Nice and heavy. I know we have to go to showroom if yeah, it's better quality. Yeah. Uh, do your showroom pieces do they come with the box like box everything or just the piece? Have the brochure show. It's very big. Because how many designs? What qualities do you want? Uh, triple A or one on one? Do you have one on one? One on one have also. And the uh, Dao Xiao Chen for one on one. Have different price. Have some is like this. So some 2000. is like this. Okay. And have also this, but you compare the quality yeah. is better, right? Like, it's too hard to know. Will you open the back for then me? Then you can see inside the machine what you like. It's no problem. Okay. If you don't believe me. Um. Uh, do you have the pages for the Rolex? Yes. Just to see. Only quickly. Rolex, right? Only Rolex, yeah. Panerai is good too, but I mainly Panerai want to see. Okay. I know. I live. I live Guangzhou, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now you want to buy or just check? Check because I have to come back for my uh, wife's uh, my wife's father. Okay. He needs something for Chinese New Year. Big. Oh, big showroom. In this building or that building? Other building. Other building, okay. Uh, Submariner page. Okay. Only no okay. right? Yeah. Okay, um, see in the office, no problem. Not yet. Can I get one card? I need to go make a call. Okay. Have the best quality, M3. Mm -hmm. Three one three five machine. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. okay, so about a year ago or so, most of these places don't want to. Uh, here, let me let me turn it off and come around. Okay, I'm back. So today has been the day where they have offered me the most times to go to the second floor and that's where you'll see but there is a lot more pressure to buy and like I said I'm not buying but when it comes to buying it was surprised that they said they would actually open the back of the watch for me because many times when I bought them as gifts not for myself because I don't condone it but for people that live here in China bought as a gift to you know for Christmas or something uh, I bought it they would not let me open the back and I know that when I want to get something that's as close as real, you have to know the weight, has to have the movement, has to feel right. I mean, it cannot be just a metal, it should be a ceramic plate. And there's so many small details that only people that deal in watches would really know if, you know, you're getting what's closest to real. I mean, obviously it's fake, but, because it's not made in a European country, but still, I mean, pretty damn close uh, so things like the movement if you're a pro with watches a hobbyist um, the weight uh, the dimensions these are all things and the average person who just wants to look there they're not really gonna know the whole total of what they're getting and it might be a good deal for you for the price but when you live a life here in China and the culture I mean you want to bargain and haggle and get the best possible thing you can get so I hope you guys enjoyed this Rolex video. If you want more for other brands of watches, then let me know. If you want 
certain brand of anything because those my main videos are market videos let me know um, so I hope you enjoy this like smash that like button uh, give me a comment um, if you want me to come back and check out a certain booth or maybe even go upstairs into one of the warehouses or showrooms I could possibly do that but uh, tell me what you guys think anyways Hollywood let's go make the next video